how do you become the perfect person? People want to be good people. People want to do the right thing. People want to make their parents proud, make their teachers proud, do a good job. How do you not only do that well, but do it perfectly? I'm going to tell you how. We're going to start with these are just people that are around you. There's a whole bunch of other people that you are um, trying to be perfect for. But these are some very obvious ones. So I'm going to cover these first. Parents, how, are you, how do you become the perfect child for your parents? Very simple. All these answers are very, very simple. To become the perfect child for your parents, you do exactly what they say. You do exactly what they want you to do. If you're wearing a shirt to school, they don't want you to wear, and they say, change your shirt, change your shirt. If you're wearing a hairstyle they don't like, and they say, we don't like that hairstyle, we want you to change it, you change it. If your grades are low in school and they, they say grades aren't acceptable, get them up, you get your grades up. If your parents tell you to be home at 10 p.m., you're home at 10 p.m., you're the perfect child. Your parents tell you not to drink soda. You don't drink soda. You're the perfect child. You're acting perfectly. You, you can be the perfect child by doing exactly what your parents want you to do. That's how you become the perfect child. Now, how do you become the perfect student? You repeat back to the teacher exactly what he wants you to say. If you give the exact answer the teacher wants you to give or tells you to give, you get an A+. Plus. So if he tells you the Hundred Years' War lasted 105 years, then he asks you a question. How long did the Hundred Years' War last? And you say 105 years, you're the perfect student. If he tells you one plus one equals two, and then he asks you, what's one plus one? And you go two, you're the perfect student. So to be the perfect student, all you have to do is do is say the exact answers the teacher tells you to say. To be the perfect student, all you have to do is repeat back exactly what the teacher tells you, exactly how he tells you to do it. And the closer you come to saying exactly what he said, the higher your grade. Now your pastor in your church, how can you be the best parishioner, the best apostolate, the best apostate, the best uh, layman, the best churchgoer you can be by doing exactly what the Bible tells you to do, by doing exactly what your pastor tells you to do. If your pastor tells you, in our church, we don't drink, you don't drink. If your pastor tells you, if you get a girl pregnant, you don't get an abortion, you don't get an abortion. If your pastor or your church tells you, you don't have sex before you're married, you don't have sex before you're married. 
You do exactly what they tell you to do. So to be a good child to a parent, you do exactly what they tell you to do. To be a good student to a teacher, you do exactly what they tell you to do. To be a good uh, parishioner, a good uh, churchgoer, you do exactly what the pastor of the church tell, tells you to do. Exactly. How can you be the best citizen that you can be? To your leaders that are lawfully appointed as leaders. How can you be the best citizen you can be? To a lawful leader is, is, is a city commissioner, a uh, city board member, a uh, police chief, a policeman, a congressman, a senator, a senator passes law, a state senator passes law, a governor signs the law into effect. All these lawful leaders, what is the best way for you? What is what? How can you be the best? How can you be the best? I don't know why this is giving me such a problem here. It's not being the best camera. <laughs> How can you be the best citizen, law-abiding citizen, to a lawful leader? Do exactly what they tell you to do. If these people have a sign up on a road that says 30 miles an hour, how fast do you go? 30 miles an hour or below. You don't go 32 miles an hour. No, no, no. If a lawful leader tells you there's a curfew, you have to have your you have to be home by 10 p.m. every night. You're home at 10 p.m. every night. If a if a lawful leader tells you you can only have X amount of alcohol in your system when you're driving a car, guess what? You can only have if you don't if you don't do that, you're not a good citizen. So to be the best citizen. You can be to your leaders. You do exactly what they tell you to do. Your employer, your boss, how can you be the best employee to your boss? Do exactly what they tell you to do. If the boss tells you, we need 10 orders this week, you get him 10 orders this week. If a boss tells you, I need this pallet empty by 5 p.m., you empty the pallet by 5 p.m. If the boss tells you, I need this shelf stocked completely full, you stock the shelf completely full. If the boss tells you, I need all these emails answered by 3 p.m., you answer all the emails by 3 p.m. And guess what? You're the perfect employee. You are the perfect employee. You're the perfect employee when you do exactly what your boss tells you to do. So you're the, you're the best child when you do exactly what your parents tell you to do. You're the best student when you do exactly what the teacher tells you to do. You're the best parishioner. You're the best churchgoer when you do exactly what the, the pastor or the priest or the church tells you to do. You're the, you, you are the best citizen when you do exactly what your lawful leaders tell you to do. You're the best employee when you do exactly what what your boss tells you to do. Now, how do you become the best spouse? By doing exactly what your spouse wants you to do. If you, if your spouse tells you, don't go out, I don't want you to go out with those, with those people tonight. You don't go out with those people. If, if you want a dog and your spouse says, I don't want a dog. I don't want you to have a dog. Don't have a dog. And you're the best partner in the world. You're the best. You're the best spouse there is. When your spouse tells you, "I don't want you dating anybody. I don't want you seeing anybody. I don't want you having sex with anybody," and you do it, you're the best spouse in the world. If your spouse says to you, uh, "I don't want you drinking. I don't want you. I don't. I don't. I detest alcohol. I don't want you even drinking one beer." You don't drink. You're the best spouse in the world. Your uh, spouse tells you, "You're playing too many video games. I don't want you playing that much video games." What do you do? Put down the video controller. 
to be the best spouse you can be. Neighbors. How can you be the best neighbor in the world to your neighbor? It's not by loan, loaning him uh, yard tools. It's not by letting him borrow your car. It's by doing exactly what he wants you to do. So if your neighbor comes over, knocks on your door and says, you know, your dog was barking a little loud last night. Uh, you know, mm, kept me awake. Then what do you do? Shut your dog up. Your neighbor comes over and says, you know, you've been having way too many people over at your apartment here. And just, it's just, it's, you know, I can hear them and they're too loud and I'm trying to study. I'm trying to work. Then you don't have people over. If you're vacuuming at night, your neighbor says, Hey, you know, that vacuuming is too loud. I know you work during the day and you know, you know, you don't have time to vacuum, but you just, you can't be vacuuming at night. It's, it's too loud. You don't vacuum at night. If you have a lawn and, and your lawn is this high, your neighbor could come over and say, you know, everybody in the neighborhood keeps their lawn about this high. So, you know, how do you be the best neighbor in the world? You keep your lawn this high because they told you to. Your community, which is which is um, kind of like, let's say, for instance, uh, you're in a chess club or you play Magic the Gathering. You, you collect comic books. You're in the comic collecting community. You're in Antifa. You're in a uh, anti-abortion group. Whatever it is, that's your, you know, your community, the people around you. How are you the best community member that there is? How do you serve your community best? By doing exactly what they want you to do. So if you're pro anti, I'm sorry, if you're anti-abortion and all your buddies, all your community members say, look, we're going to have a rally and we're going to go pray out in front of an abortion clinic tomorrow at 10 and you go, I can't make it. Mm -mm. not a good community member. If you're in the community of uh, Antifa and they say, Hey, we're going to go protest these cops tomorrow at eight. And you go, well, I don't think I can make it. Mm -mm. Not a good community member. Mm -mm. If your community members go, well, you know, they're having a big, uh, we, we're a very small town and they're having a big sausage fest, uh, literally a sausage making fest. Uh, down at the town square and everybody's going to be there. You, you're going to show up and help us make some sausage. No, I can't. I'm, I'm be I'm vegan. I'm not really into sausage. Not a good community member. We're all going to be there. Not a good community member. So to be the best child to a parent, to be the perfect child, to be the perfect child, you do everything they want you to do to be the perfect student you do everything the teacher wants you to do to be the perfect parishioner for the church you do everything the church and the pastor wants you to do to be the best citizen to your lawful leader the perfect citizen you do everything they tell you to do to be the perfect em employee to your boss you do everything he tells you to do just like he told you to do it to be the perfect spouse you do everything your spouse, your partner wants you to do the way they want you to do it. To be the perfect neighbor, you do everything they want you to do. To be a perfect community member, you do everything they want you to do. And where does this leave you exactly? So you're doing everything for all these people. And that's just a few of them. There's more. But you're doing everything for all these people. Exactly the way they want you to do it. Where does that leave you? Where does that leave you? This is where it leaves you. It leaves you shrouded. See, it says you right here. It's hard to read because you're being shrouded. 
your your at what about your actions? What about what you want to do? What about what you want? What about your free will? What about your drive? What about your uh, likes and dislikes? What about your emotions? What about your mindset? What about your thoughts? What about your feelings? They're all buried. You're buried. You don't even exist. You're running around doing so much for other people. You don't even exist as a human being. You have all these people, all these people wanting you to be the perfect student, the perfect child, the perfect parishioner, the perfect citizen, the perfect employee, the perfect uh, partner, the perfect neighbor, the perfect community member. And they all want you to be that by their standards, not yours. For instance, a teacher, let's say, for instance, the teacher tells you, well, John F. Kennedy was president and he was shot by Lee Harvey Oswald. And uh, that's what happened. And you raise your hand and you go, you know, teach. Uh, I've read a lot of stuff and uh, they recently re released some files that said the CIA was involved in this. And I don't think that Har Harvey, Lee Harvey Oswald did it. I don't think he did it. Teacher says, okay, you fail. You're not a good student. Even though you might be right, even though you might be co correct, even though you may have a point, you, that's you buried here. Because you don't get to say what your truth is. You don't get to speak your truth in a classroom. You don't get to speak your ideas in a classroom. You are in a classroom to tell the teacher exactly what he told you. You're there to do exactly what the teacher wants you to do. You're not there to find out the truth. You're not there to, 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 to be... Uh, to have your own individual ideas. You're not there to have a willpower of your own. You're there to do exactly what the teacher tells you to do. And if you don't do it, and you say, well, no, teacher, that's wrong. Teacher can tell you, shut up, be quiet. Don't don't say anything. Yeah, but you're, you're wrong, teacher. Don't say anything. Yeah, but it's just not true. Listen, because of this, look, go to the principal's office. You don't even have, uh, you have zero chance, zero chance. You, where are you in all this? Where are you in all this? <laughs>